Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 8. An adversarial perturbation is an intentional change to a physical object in order to fool a machine learning system into mistaking that object for something else. Reinforcement learning has been applied to autonomous driving and automated trading, domains where it would be hard for an attacker to directly modify the victim policy's input. A UC Berkeley research project explored adversarial policies with simulated humanoid robots against victims trained to be robust to opponents. The project demonstrated adversarial policies that reliably beat their victim. The attacks were more successful in high-dimensional environments. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 11 for more. Freakonomics author Stephen Levitt wrote about the results of a recent large-scale experiment in which subjects who were having difficulty making an important life decision flipped a coin to influence their choice. Decisions such as whether to quit a job or end a relationship were at stake. Participants who were told by the coin toss to make a change were more likely to make the change, more satisfied with their decisions, and happier six months later than those whose coin costs directed them to maintain the status quo. Levitt suggests further research to examine whether people may be excessively cautious when facing life-changing choices. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 11 for more. A recently translated article from China's state news agency Xinhua examines five challenges to China's AI talent system. First, the total supply of talent is critically insufficient. Second, there's a large gap between China's top talent and that of the U.S. and other countries. Third, most of China's top talent is in universities and research institutions, not industry. Fourth, China has a severe brain drain of AI talent to other countries. Lastly, there's a dearth of technology ethics education. China is aware of and actively engaged in efforts to address all of its AI talent challenges. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.